before we jump into it, I'm looking to get a little more active on the platforms like Instagram and Twitter. So drop a follow if you don't already. We'd love to get connected with you guys a little further. If not, no worries, but the links are in the description below. Check it out. It was an update day for Black Ops 4 and a bigger one for Xbox One and PC users, but it's kind of unexpected that we ended up getting Black Ops 4's title update 1.23 that happened today for the consoles. PC finally got its 1.21 update in which it brings it up to speed and now has the available content for Operation Apocalypse Z's second half of the operation. But with this out of nowhere 1.23 update for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and the content to follow, what all changed here for Black Ops 4? Today we're going to run through all of that and let you know everything you need to about what's up on deck and what changed with this update. So let's jump into it. First things first, again, we had update 1.23 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One go live. And it was one that I really can't say that I was personally expecting, and I'm sure a lot of you guys weren't as well. 1.20 was Apocalypse Z's title update. We had 1.21 shortly thereafter to fix some bug fixes. And then last week's Survivor's launch update was update 1.22 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So to have another one so quickly isn't necessarily something that normally happens, even though as of recently, we've had a couple in a short period of time. But anyways, this one is honestly a bummer in terms of a title update, at least for PlayStation 4, because it was only 167 megabytes worth of an update. But on PlayStation 4, that means that it takes an hour minimum to copy the update and to make it something you can jump into the application. So while we're now on even playing grounds for content wise, Xbox did actually have the upper hand here at this update for sure. But it's definitely an update that's quick depending on your internet. You may not have even seen the downloading screen. I know that I jumped right from accepting the download to the copying phase, but it's certainly one of the smaller updates we've had of the game, if not the smallest one to date. But when you jump in and get into the meat and potatoes of it all, once you load up the game, there's there's not much visually that you'll see different at the very beginning, unless you're on Xbox One and PC, which we'll recap all that kind of stuff shortly here. But the main menu wasn't adjusted, so you'll still see Infected Final Stand as the main featured for MP, Pandemic as the main featured for Blackout, and Duck and Cover as the main featured for Zombies. But talking playlist adjustments and other things that changed, let's start out on the MP side with the MP playlists. In MP this week, we end up having Infected Final Stand, the new mode that came along with Apocalypse Z's Survivor update, Chaos Control making its return, Mercenary Deathmatch Mosh Pit, Bare Bones Mosh Pit, and Bolt Action Bare Bones, with PC also including Infected Final Stand, Bare Bones Deathmatch Mosh Pit, and Endurance Chaos Mosh Pit as well. So, Chaos Control returns for two of those, and that's again with double XP, or I guess quad feed XP because you have everything double at this point. That's going to make for some crazy lobbies. And being that it's not the main featured, you might have some sweatier lobbies as a result. But it's definitely going to be one that if you want to jump in and rank up a ton, that's probably your best bet. Though, of course, there are some other ones here that could help out throughout the week as well. But that might be one of the ones that helps the most. But anyways, that's the playlist here for MP this week. Other MP adjustments include a further correction to the sliding issues for Ajax, Outrider, Reaper, and Seraph. That's finalizing the fixes to the specialist slide issue that we talked about the other day over the weekend. For those that missed it, it essentially brought back the G slide from Black Ops 3, but brought it over in Black Ops 4. So while it was a cool feature and I loved it in Black Ops 3, it wasn't something that was ever meant to be utilized. And it was a big bug that increased the pace of the game, but wasn't ever supposed to be there, even though it didn't necessarily hurt anybody outside of giving you a quick little speed boost. From a casual perspective, it's not a big deal, but with Call of Duty Champs this week, a huge movement bug like that was certainly a reason to cause some concern, but it should be all fixed out now here for that. So that should be something that you don't encounter anymore at all here. And I honestly thought this might have been the reason as for the title update being that it was so small and something so minuscule, but we didn't have any title update as of this weekend. It was just a playlist adjustment here. So I feel like that might have been something that could have contributed, but it might not ultimately be why we got a title update here for that. Along with that, though, we ended up seeing the M16 had a slight adjustment to the site's misalignment, which could happen from time to time. Personally, I don't think that I ever experienced this, but it's something that was fixed out there as a minor bug and that's kind of it for mp swapping to blackouts adjustments pandemic saw probably the biggest of those adjustments here in this update and it actually might be the reasoning again as to why we saw a title update in the first place but gameplay wise pandemic ended up seeing an increase to the infected speed an increase to the range that infected could lunge an increase to infected players resistance to the barricade and fire damage an increase to the infected ladder climb speed and it also reduced the final collapse delay from 30 seconds to 10 seconds and reduced the final collapse time from 90 seconds to 75 seconds so there's less time to survive in that end game and final circle outside of that though, there was no real technical fixes to blackout anywhere else everything else in solos duos 
quads, Alcatraz, you name it. It's all the same. That was the only adjustments made and it was for Pandemic. But then the feature playlist here for Xbox One and PS4, we have Pandemic, Alcatraz, Portals, Quads, Quads, Duos, and Solos. And then on PC, we end up having Alcatraz and Pandemic, as well as the standard mode of Duos. Now, that stuff, again, is all updated here for that, and that's as a result of the update going live for everybody. On the leadoff side, the other things that changed here outside of this come down to two final things, one of those being the shop updates. Now, again, I don't want to spend too much time on this here because I simply just do not care anymore. I'm past the point of thinking anything will change here, but we end up seeing that we have three things introduced here within this weekend. We have the full stop melee weapon that was introduced for 1500 COD points. That's the final tally on our weapons for this operation. We saw that we had the backhander, the Argus, and the Reaver introduced in the first half. Then we had the Javelina and the M16, as well as now this full stop melee weapon introduced here. That is everything that we saw in the game files. That's everything that is accounted for now. So don't expect any other weapons to be coming out out of say maybe a mastercraft or reactive or something like that but full-on weapons that's everything this comes with five dupe protected crates an emote as well as the melee then there is the astronaut bundle for fire break which is 2400 cod points it comes with a uniform and 10 dupe protected crates the pricing of that is absurd if you ask me then we have bus driver ted who comes with an emote sticker for reserve crates and the blackout character for 1000 cod points and surprisingly this is by and far the most affordable thing in the shop so far and that's what kind of blows my mind is that there's something that's a reasonable bundle compared to what we've seen previously but then we have three tiers included in that one so you'll progressively unlock ted you won't get him immediately the final thing that was added in on the leadoff side here is the final twitch prime pack that was added for black ops 4 today if you missed any of the previous ones well it actually works out in your favor because where you previously couldn't redeem any of those this one actually isn't anything new it's just a combination of everything that we've seen so far with with this you end up getting two weapon camos the primo outfit the primo jump pack and the kilobyte outfit as well and then on top of that you'll get 100 nebulium plasma and 10 reserve cases so pretty much the only thing new here outside of this are the reserve cases and the nebulium plasma everything else we've seen introduced at some point so far and so therefore it's to me a good and a bad thing this is something that's been going on for six months, and I know a lot of people have commented, well, I missed this, can I still get it? To which I understand that's awesome that you can now get it, but at the same time, we've had everything introduce something new, and with the whole Recycled Ops 4 thing being a relatively relevant argument, this isn't really helping the case here of it. So while I'm kind of on the fence here with it, it is what it is. I still was kind of hoping for a little bit more. I was hoping personally for a newer camo, a newer jump pack, and a newer uniform, taking the best of what we've seen before, but also reintroducing them in the sense that we'll get those things again, but newer versions of them. But anyways, that's what was added in here in today's update for the newer stuff. On the Xbox One and PC side, again, you end up finally getting to experience the new second half of Operation Apocalypse Z. With that comes, of course, everything that PlayStation 4 ended up getting last week. Included in that is the Infected Final Stand game mode, that being a limited time game mode, which is honestly a lot of fun. It's like a combination of TDM and Infected. It ended up adding the new Gauntlet of Duck and Cover to Zombies. It ended up adding some different weapon support for Zombies as well. Blackout ended up getting its limited time mode of Pandemic for you guys. Alcatraz Portals is now the standard standard Alcatraz portal squads, not the horde variation of it where there was a ton of zombies just coming at you from every which way. It added the new tactical bike into the standard modes as well and added in some different easter eggs to discover in Blackout as well. One of those primarily being the new zombies ray gun mark 2 X, Y, and Z variation which you can find by fishing at Lighthouse. And outside of that, there's really not all that much. PC's update is finally live for everybody so it added in everything and that means that even as as of last week's technical stuff that was fixed out for everybody now finally made its way to the public on pc as well so the s6 stingray operator mod nerf and things like that the imaginator fix for the daemon 3xb the rampart 17 errors were fixed out and all things along that route now ultimately i think that this is probably going to be one of the last substantial updates for this operation i don't expect really all that much to be coming in the upcoming weeks which is kind of a bummer to say because we have 40 days left here on this operation so a lot of dead space probably a lot of solely playlist updates and shop updates and we still do know that we have jungle flooded coming at some point we don't know just yet if it's actually even in this title update so maybe i stand corrected maybe there is another title update that comes that has some 
substantial weight here to it and we're not left with 40 days of just well is there something new not really yes kind of that kind of smaller debate here with that but Ultimately, that's everything that changed here in today's update. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Is there anything in particular that you're really looking forward to? Anything that you're kind of upset about? Anything that you're like, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence here with that. Whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Black Ops 4, anything relating to updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And also, we're going to be transitioning into a lot of Modern Warfare content. I have a lot of stuff that I just want to generate really talk about and give you guys some information on i want to break down and dissect some things and i think i kind of want to continue doing those things you didn't know about modern warfare videos as well so if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff as well make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing that said if you guys also follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best place to get connected outside of youtube practically live on both those if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question what it may be that link is down there in the description below but that's said now the way thank you guys all so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace